हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इट्स वी के आर्किटेक्स गेट आर्किटेक्चर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड सो हाउ टू स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट आर्किटेक्चर एग्जाम ओके एंड व्हाट्स आर व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ गेट एग्जाम सो गेट एग्जाम इज फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग अ मेरिट सीट इन टॉप आई एंड एन इन इंडिया ओके वंस यू कम्प्लीट योर एम आर्क देर आर मेनी प्लेसमेंट्स अवेलेबल फॉर गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स and you are eligible for a stipend of 12400 per month which for 24 months makes it 297600 rupees in fact due to gate exam you can do your masters for free okay so before preparing i would like to tell you that please go for a full fledged attempt of yours okay don't start by half minded like whether you should start you should attempt gate or you should go for something else okay once you have decided that you are going to attempt gate you should give a full hearted attempt so how to start preparing for gate architecture 2021 let's look at the syllabus there are totally eight sections in gate architecture the syllabus is quite vast okay for a 3 hour exam for a single day exam it the syllabus is practically quite large okay so you need not study the entire syllabus you just need to study basics okay you should know your basics well you should be good in maths and you should be good in remembering things okay so section 1 is basically about architecture and design where the main topics you can see like principles of architecture like you have might have studied the form space order uh like many other things in this francis dk chings book and computer graphics like autocad 3ds max sketchup revit they they will ask you commands for uh, one mark questions and you should know the basic anthropometrics nbc codes and guidelines and history of architecture so history of architecture you have to start learning from prehistoric till the uh, deconstruction style okay so it's entire history of architecture it's for western as well as indian architecture and works of renowned architects and pritzker prize winners okay this is all about section 1 section 1 mostly comprises about 20 to 24% of weightage section 2 is about building materials construction and management okay like materials you might look into brick cement and many of the basic materials which are used in construction second topic is construction and techniques like you have to estimate the quantities of materials that you require you should know the valuation and the third is management it's about cpm and pert okay cpm and pert is mostly about problematic okay it mostly comes for numericals and sometimes in one marks also so section 2 consists of 15 to 18 percent of weightage. Okay. Now section three is about buildings and structures. This one is an entirely structural part. Okay. Like you should know the basics of mechanics of structures like stress, strain, all that uh, structural and design of structures. Like you might have come across your uh, DOS in university exams. so you should know the basics of that not the full detail as you study in ug you should only know the basics okay so this structural part this structural part is somewhat about 10 percentage okay the fourth one is environmental planning i consider this as an very important section okay you can learn a lot not only for gate exam but also as an architect you should know this basics okay so section 4 accounts about 12 percentage you will basically learn about ecosystem acoustics lighting climate responsive design green buildings and rating so what are the green buildings in india how they are designed okay so the next section is section 5 it's about urban design you will learn about concepts and theories of urban design how urban form evolved into today's time so what were the previous theories related to urban design and how it evolved 
and second one is landscape you have to remember the botanical names and nomenclature for trees some of the basic trees okay and shrubs and whatever elements softscape and hardscape used in landscape okay the third one is historical examples of cities like you should know the major cities how they are planned what all are the exclusive features used in those cities okay and the fourth one is fir fsi problems so fsi problems are totally based on numericals so section 6 section 5 is about 13% uh, of weightage in this exam okay section 6 is about urban planning and housing uh, transit oriented development icz smart cities all the uh, government schemes and policies are basically known as urban planning okay and you will come across housing density problems so this section usually tends about 6% of weightage section 7 is about planning techniques and management so you should know how some planning techniques are used what are the planning norms and proje procedures you should know ur dpfi guidelines and uh, there might also you might also come across theory where you should know the full form like ur dpfi what it stands for there are many more other terms and there are many terms particularly for india like pmay pradhan mantri awas yojana you should know all that terms so i will be uploading notes for that also you need not worry so section 7 accounts about 5% of weightage only section 8 section 8 is about services infrastructure and transportation this is a vast section so i recommend you to go for this section at last only okay this is a very huge section but the weightage is only about 7 to 8 percentage but you need to study a lot and remember lot of things in this section okay so now we came across uh, all the eight sections in this exam okay so these eight sections will comprise for 85 marks and the rest 15 marks will be for general aptitude okay i will also be recommending you two specific youtube uh, videos which are very very beneficial for general aptitude okay so for this eight sections 85 marks so 30 marks will be for numericals where there is no negative marking okay rest all will be mcqs where there will be negative marking for one mark you lose 0.33 for two marks you lose 0.66 if you get them wrong okay so how to start preparing for exam okay we'll come across these two slides later so how to begin studying so first first step is to collect the notes okay so how to collect notes you should collect notes for theory separately and numerical separately okay so you you can come across uh, sources in youtube like it's my channel basically for i have started with numericals section so in my channel you can come across you can refer to bk das's kt architecture book it's a very good book very useful and you can also find kt architecture complete set where they provide about 6 to 7 books for each and every different section okay so you need to start collecting notes from now onwards okay and collecting notes will at least take you 45 to 50 days which means max to max 2 months you will be just collecting notes okay so if you start from uh, beginning of june so you will be basically collecting notes till july end okay so first you should start collecting notes second step is to create your own format which you find easy okay see i have started uh, collecting notes so i there are basically eight sections so i made a book for eight sections differently and write down whatever notes you find in order okay you can go for youtube you can go for slide share you might also have your ugs notes which are related to the syllabus okay you need not study anything beyond syllabus okay so after you start finish collecting notes till july end 
and what you have to do from august is start solving a question paper per week okay you should start from gate 2020 all the way up till 1991 so you should solve these papers so i have uh, i did find it good that once a week you should just solve one paper so first three days monday tuesday and wednesday solve the papers and rest of the four days you should analyze it what mistakes you have made and what where you got confused there might be many questions we, which you don't know in the first attempt so you have to start noting down each and everything okay so these are the first three basic steps okay so my suggestion is you start from june starting okay it's a lockdown period you can utilize your time very much okay it's a good time you need not waste your time so you can start studying just for 30 to 35 minutes okay like morning when your mind is fresh look at my videos i have started uh, for numericals okay you can see my videos and start studying for at least 30 to 35 minutes in the beginning week and as you proceed from week to week you can increase that time by 5 to 10 minutes okay and in evening when your mind is tired you can go for theory part okay numericals needs more concentration so you can do it in morning and theory you can do go for evening it's my choice uh, you should know which method you are comfortable with okay and when you start studying you should at least take a five minute break okay after every 30 minutes so in the first week if you start by 30 to 35 minutes in the morning so second week you push that up to 40 third week you will go for 45 within a month you can definitely touch one hour so if you start in june by july you will study morning one hour evening one hour okay so august september before reaching september you can uh, definitely touch about two to two and a half hours in the morning and evening which makes it five hours a day which is more than enough okay so from august you have to start uh, solving the question papers and from november you should start giving mock tests one mock test per week or one mock test for two weeks you should analyze the mock test and for general aptitude those 15 marks are your rank deciders okay many of the architecture students they study only architecture they totally get like only eight to nine marks in general aptitude while you can score about 13 to 14 marks okay this even in one mark can differ a rank about 20 to 30 okay and at last you should start practicing your virtual calculator so when you are solving a question paper or giving mock test start practicing the gate virtual calculator okay and i would like to tell you that 40 percent of a concept repeat each year so whatever concepts that you have learned like let's say for urban design or any other planning theories concepts like 40 percent of the concept in an exam repeats each year so only the concepts get repeated the question does not repeat so start by basically understanding what it means just not by mugging it up okay so while analyzing the question paper like uh, here i have stated for k20 2019 like this was a one mark question so it was a question like 3d solid between various cross sections so for this command to take place the answer was locked command okay so the rest of the three options are wrong but i have you should also know that what that command stands for like mesh mesh command is only for primary 3d mesh okay and x edges p phase so you should start collecting notes about these options also okay like for the second ornamentation and crime was written by adolf loos so he wrote basically he criticized uh, ornamentation and he in order to support bahas movement so you should dig in deep into these options okay why the answer is that and why isn't the other three options so once you start digging up the options you can simultaneously cover many of the syllabus in this also okay 
so once you do all for all the previous questions paper we you, you can easily cover about 70 to 80 percent of syllabus in that okay uh, you might also see here uh, change in e to ecological zones is ecotone so the other options were ecological niche ecotype ecological footprint you should know the what these terms mean okay so start studying like this okay it's really beneficial you can cover your syllabus like mostly 10 to 15 percent faster than what others do okay now like this two more questions it was basically matched the following so surveying we use cross stuff so ld date we use for table surveys extent we use for traversing that is for measuring angular angles between two objects okay so whatever you collect notes whatever you study also draw a small picture of it so that you can visualize during exam so in some of the uh, match the following they might give you pictures and ask to match what instrument it is so you should always be aware of that also okay so start preparing notes like an architecture student you should draw sketching is the basic okay and uh, like in this question you see primacy of settlements was rank size rule which was why George Zips okay so there were other settlements theory also and one was based on Newton's law so I will also be uplo uploading all the details which I have collected for all the question papers okay so you also start collecting collectively we can cover the syllabus much more faster so believe in yourself work hard and just make it happen believe me there are lots of benefits for their exam for this exam okay so just start studying and believe in yourself and please 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 once you reach that november uh, august november stage please don't start giving up like a mercenary or a, i can't do it so please keep yourself away from all the negativity and just be positive and start studying so i will also be uploading regular videos theories numericals everything simultaneously and uh, thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you